Hey guys, welcome to a new video. This is going to be a live stream recap, but recently we made this, this, I have to look over here, during a live stream. And this is basically a door number for on your house, but ta -ta -ta, we hooked it up to WLED and put addressable LEDs inside. So now we can make it do all kinds of funky colors and, uh, you know, all the WLED patterns and stuff like that. But even better, since WLED is hooked up to Home Assistant, and my doorbell is too, if you didn't see that, watch this series, we can actually make it do things when the doorbell rings. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the, uh, the finished product real quick. Uh, it looks a lot better if it's mounted against the wall and stuff like that. But let me know in the comments, uh, and I'm asking for YouTube comments because algorithm, blah, blah, blah. If you'd like to see a video where it's actually hanging on the wall. I might make a short out of that or a full video, but at least show you guys. Anyway, here's the recap of the live stream. And if you want to see the whole process, well, the live stream is linked down in the description below. Enjoy watching and see you in the in a, in a next live stream or video. <laughs> I mean, uh, that already paid for a part of what we're going to work on today, because I actually bought this mainly to do something with it on stream. Um, I showed it to the girlfriend about half an hour ago. She didn't even know I had this. <laughs> and she was like, it's not a direct no. Let's see how it looks on the bench first. I was like, okay, that's a win. I mean... <laughs> But yeah, I bought it to do this project. So let's see, let's see. Hi, Quinder, I've been doing acrylic bespoke house numbers and someone asked for an LED one last week. So this has come at the right time, says Brendan Thomas. Yeah, so I just, you know, I just got this from AliExpress, but it's, I think it's just two types of acrylic, really, or maybe they painted this part. It's not metal for sure. It's just plastic. But yeah, we'll see how it looks. First, we're going to turn it on with the default LEDs because there's LEDs in there. And then we're going to take it apart and uh, we'll have a look what we can do. Yeah, Tech tech Junkie, uh, those signs are pretty expensive. This one costed me, I think, uh, about 20 bucks. I'll, I'll look it up and then I'll share the screen. Hold on. Okay, so here's the numbers. You can get them. I got the, the well, obviously, I got the two. And then you have the 12 and a half, ce 12 and a half centimeter, 16, 20. Wow. 36 can't believe I paid 36 for that. Oh, I did <laughs> I paid 33 euros for that one. Damn. Okay. Yeah Okay, yeah 36 bucks. That's not that's not cheap, but it, it does look well made and we'll open it up and It actually comes with everything you need. Uh, let's take a look at that because I think most people have arrived by now uh, because it came with this bag and we uh, we unpacked it before on a queen box Yeah, if you're living in a three-digit house, you have to pay the triple cost so that kind of sucks But let's see what it came with um, Not Chinesium prices. No, that's true So it came with uh, this cable and this is actually it feels like pretty decent cable Let's see if there is a size on there 0 0.75 uh, millimeters squared. So that's AWG uh, 18 or something like that. And uh, it came with this printed uh, printed template. And I think we already compared that on the Quinn box, but I believe it fits. Yeah, fits on there perfectly. So you can do the, the, the holes to drill and stuff like that. So you can nicely hide the wires and, you know. And um, then it came with came with these pegs and from what I understand you insert these into the wall and you screw them into the back uh, like so yeah because there is thread on there so I'm not fully sure how that's gonna work when you mount it to your house because well you have to you know push this into the hole in the wall and then I guess you have to twist them somehow to get them on. I'm not sure yet. But it even came with a little power supply. So let's take a look at that. Oh, it's an outdoor rated power supply even. And 
It's um, AC full range, 110 to 260 volts. That's good. And then it does 12 volt, 12 watts. Okay. Waterproof power LED supply. Yep. 12 watts. That's decent. Or, my, I mean, how many LEDs can be in here? And that's actually one of the first things I want to try. Because I'm not going to use this because I don't need an outdoor power supply. And I have bunches of power supplies lying around. And depending on... Um, oh, is the music too loud? Or is, let me turn it down a little bit. Uh, depending on... Um, well, what kind of strip we're going to use. We need a 5 volt or 12 volt power supply. But we'll look at that later. Should be good. Cameras are on. Cameras are rolling. Let's hit the power. Oh! Okay. Well, let me turn it over. Okay. It works. Yeah, that's a glowing two for sure. And, um... Oh, it's actually decently bright. We're using... Let me see, 6.65 watts of power. So we're almost at 666 power, but 6 watts, that's pretty decent. Uh, it says just 12 volts, so that's pretty easy. Yeah, cool. I like the effect it has, because th that's basically the idea. Uh, because if you look at these little uh, standoffs, they... Um, allow you to vary the amount uh, of distance from the wall slightly. But the idea, of course, is that it's relatively close to the wall um, so that the effect is visible, like this. And as I said, there's lots of different styles and uh, versions you can get on AliExpress. Uh, but I wanted this one because it had a really decent amount of acrylic here. Should you be able to dim it? Um, actually, if, you're, if you'd use an analog dimmer, this is probably just a very random uh, analog LED strip. Yes, then you can dim it. Okay. Oh, okay. Comes apart pretty easily. Oh, the wire is just... Um, okay. Yeah, okay. So it's just a little hole. The wire comes through. And nothing of this is screwed, uh, is glued in. It's screwed, so that's nice. They do have a little edge here, so that's a, that's a good design. So the water won't go inside. I'm not sure you can see that. Uh, let me let me do this on this. Let me blah, blah, blah. let me do that on this camera. So if you see here, they have this little edge. Uh, so that likely will help prevent water from coming in there. That's pretty good. And they have these inserts inserts for the uh, screw, screwable pegs. Yeah, I have good. several candidates. We'll talk about that now. Uh, this is 198 LEDs a meter. And they're WS2812C. So uh, they're a not very well-known variant. They're still quite new. And I'm testing these to maybe start selling them. Not sure yet. Uh, but they're 2020 LEDs, so instead of 5050, they're a lot smaller, and uh, they don't use a lot of power. I have two meters of it, and um, yeah, they're the C variant, but WLED and the Quinn LED boards and stuff like that can drive them just like any other WS2812 LED. So we have this, this is 5 volt. And it's fairly spaced together, so it, I mean it's 198 per meter. Okay. Yeah, well, you can almost have a difficult one. I can read on one piece. Just need to hold this part. Why is that needle? It's going to read us traffic. I don't know. See, I don't know. Yeah, this is called the other strip. Okay. It's going to be outside. Yeah, the, uh, the, this side of the lyrics is definitely no. It's not that good. As you can probably see now. Okay. There it goes. Right, so, yeah. I think we can make this work, and we don't have to spend hours trying to tear out all that hot glue. And then it'll easily fit inside, and once it's nicely glued to the sides... Sure, sure. And 
and the pads already um probably could use captain tape but that'll still color it uh, i just have to order the right size uh, transparent i guess i'm gonna add a little bit of solder on here because it's probably leadless that's on here but so let's just mix that up a little bit make it easier to solder onto okay let's add this to the strip there we go of course now i can put it down anymore uh, eh, it'll work out and then we just melt the pad on the strip like that and we push it in there there we go see soldering is all about tricks so if you make sure to solder on both sides um it becomes very easy because the tin likes to go together add a few extra on and then let's overlay it like that and i'm using silicone wipes so i'm not too afraid of melting wipe i have to be careful to just remove the paper and not the glue layer itself because the glue layer is actually there for two purposes it acts as glue so you can stick it down but it also acts as an electrical insulator so uh, if you stick it down in something conductive like metal uh, it'll insulate it so that it'll still transfer some of the heat but it won't uh, basically short circuit the leds once they're on metal so the glue layer has two purposes I'm just gonna go for it and I'm gonna use some of the electrical glue here. I'm basically, sit, sit behind the transfer, but it's hard to show you. I'm basically gonna get it down as much as possible. I think my friend's gonna be allowed to put it in the house. It's like free, you know, because it doesn't cost anything. I just get a bit of it. In the end, you're just getting Alex for less, and you're getting some of the money. So now, if you go spawn for a house, and this thing is the front door, well, you'll leave it right. This is such a great job of hiding my address. Hiding my address is very open box. It's possible to figure out where it is. That was quite enough. I'm gonna think about that double idea. I guess I could still make it second. Oh, it's right corner of the. So let's just put a little bit of cap on on there like that. Not sure that'll show up on camera. Yeah, it does. So that should protect uh, it from shorting out on the case material, basically. Let me move this away. Um, yeah, no, we have a little bit less LEDs than we had before, but let's get it back in there. Try not to wrangle it too much. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, we have a little bit of a gap now, but eh. The stickiness has become slightly worse, but we can always hot glue it later if needed. So let's try and get the wires in and see how it looks. <laughs> it's an orange too! Let's do some paletti. That looks pretty good come to house with orange too yeah that's right okay uh so it's working so uh i i really want to screw it back together and then see if it still works power whoa that is pretty nice not gonna lie that's pretty nice this is uh i think half power so this already, this is full power, and uh, we're using 8 watts right now, uh, so let's go red, uh, 7 watts, let me go, uh, oh wow, purple's nice, blue, and I think because of the diffusion, yeah, white looks pretty, pretty white. Because it's, you know, it's the very tiny LEDs. So that already looks a bit better than those bulky 50-50s. And uh, while well, there's a lot of diffusion, so you can't really see, I can't even see a single LED. And uh, it's, it's stuck to, oh, I can actually feel it getting warm. Let's not do white too long. White is 18 watts. Dancing shadows. Okay, let me find that one. Uh, dancing shadows. Have any color preference? We can do uh, green. 
And we're still at full power. That was pretty cool. Fireworks 1D. That's pretty cool. Fireworks Starburst. That's awesome. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm debating between the heart project I did and this one. What is the best looking? This is Scan. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let me up the brightness to full power. Full power. Okay, we need to do it faster. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool.